16 degrees and the forecast to go higher. So I'm taking a trip out towards the airport to test out the new bike path out there and then we'll come back into town on the Confederation Trail. Almost no roads to ride. This path was put in about two years ago and the one of the airport links up with it. So we can get across that roundabout there, across to here, and now we're on one of the new sections. We're going to go right to the junction where you can see the cars at the top of that incline. Where we're going. Glad I'm not on there. Those are the landing lights. It's more on the other side of the road. This is all uphill. Flipping airports at the top of a hill. Now I'm on the older path. This was done probably three or four years ago, maybe five and it will take you three quarters of the way to the North Shore to Brackley Beach actually but I'm not going there today I'm going to cross this road to the left in about two kilometres time and pick up the Confederation Trail the airport entrance and in the distance with the perspective very much foreshortened is the roughly northeast southwest runway and we're just approaching the Federation Trail crossing here. This will be a little bit quieter. Now the right hand fork would take us to all points west and we're turning left and east down to Charlottetown, south and east to be precise. This one in its railroad days was known as Milton Junction. Only two months ago, this was basically black, white and grey. And look at it now, verdant. This is one of the less salubrious parts of uh, town. On the north edge of Charlottetown at the moment is where they dump all the milled tarmac when they repave. Look at it, great mountains of it in there. They also store the gravel and other kinds of ballast for road building in huge piles. There we are, there's some of it. And the paving vehicles come up here and 
take what they want. And an old scrap yard in there. They don't put this section of town on the tourist map. the Charlottetown perimeter bypass. We're going to have to cross that but there are traffic lights and I'm going to make my way down the trail and stop at the urban beehives to eat my sandwich. And this is our junction coming up. I might even get the green light if I time it right. trail picks up across the road where the runner is. Thank goodness for traffic lights. This is probably the busiest section of trail that runs behind the university and parallel with University Avenue so you get a lot of people from town walking along here for exercise and running used to be me and these are some of the faculty buildings of UPEI including the Atlantic Veterinary College where they minister to large animals. There it is, just up in there. I often see horses and cows in those, yeah, there we are, in those little pens. I like it uh, along here. The trail's almost twice as wide as anywhere else. I suspect they used to have uh, train tracks going both ways back in the day. And we're coming up to Belvedere Avenue, which is the last road crossing before the beehives. Not too much traffic for uh, Thursday. Maybe everyone's at the beach or a park. Yeah, here we are at the beehives. Jeepers, that doesn't look like it's been mowed for a very long time. This is the uh, little explanatory display they have telling you all about the bees and there's the hives. You can't get close to them. Look at all this clover. Both hives are quite busy. I'll get a bit closer in a minute. really want to get. And the others much the same, plenty of activity. Time to sit down and have a sandwich. Off we go and join the trail again. trail now and on this paved path which will lead us to a, a large parking lot which I intend to cross. Behind the Covid uh, screening centre. I don't know what else they do in there. It's like something's going on. And now 
short stretch of road. I will go round here, just swing across the road with gay abandon. And on the left here we can rejoin the bike path. really I will have been able to do about 18 kilometers or so with almost no road riding the Hillsborough River looking very blue very summery and then for a change I'm going to take the woodland bike path 